Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team bringing the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Today, I'm going to share with you the uh, small town vibe of Danville, Indiana. Hey, with all the uh, small town charm that you'd hope to expect. Now, Danville was founded in 1824 and it is the county seat of Hendricks County. The courthouse is uh, still here and still being used. And then across the street, you have a courthouse annex with some more government offices. On the square here is also the Mayberry Cafe with uh, all the small town charm of the uh, famous Andy Griffith television show. The town square is also the site of the uh, oh uh, Christmas on the square and Patty's on the square, green beer and all. Another big uh, event here in town is the Heartland Apple Festival. Hey, and if that's not big enough for you, you can always go to the number four attraction here in town, which is the Historical Museum and Old County Jail. But Danville's taking uh, baby steps to expand its entertainment options. It is now the new home of the Indiana Lions, a minor league basketball team. Other options for fun include the parks and rec. Hey, you can rent a train station, a shelter house, a gazebo, three gyms, a water park, and pickleball and basketball courts. Hey, that's a bigger menu than uh, many larger cities have. Another entertainment option in this small town is the Danville Warriors. Yes, this small town gets behind its high school athletes. And rightfully so, as you can see, they've won a lot of conference championships, sectional, regional. Hey, there's even a couple uh, state runner-ups in the trophies in the trophy case there. Okay, the uh, Danville Community School Corporation. It has uh, two elementary schools, a middle school, in a high school with an enrollment of 788 students. You can see they are doing a lot of building here, a lot of growth in this community and in this high school. The school system is uh, graded A- by Niche.com, and it is ranked uh, number 95 out of 290 public school systems in the state, which puts it in the top one third. Okay, the town of Danville, State Road 36 runs through it. It has a population of over 10,000 people and growing. If you follow uh, Highway 36 West, you're gonna come to a bunch of very small towns and a lot of cornfields. And if you uh, take it east, you're gonna go into Avon very quickly with uh, just all of its uh, restaurants and shopping opportunities. There's everything that you need right there. If you go 20 miles from here due east, you're gonna go downtown Indianapolis. You can check out the Indianapolis Colts football game or the Fever or Pacers or any other uh, entertainment option that you're looking for in the big city. That's just 20 miles due east. Housing situation, I mean, after all, this is a housing channel. There were 401 homes sold in Danville during the past 12 months. They ranged in price from $90,000 to 1.7 million. However, there were just six that sold over 800,000. The median price was uh, 340,000, but get this, over 50% of the homes sold were new builds. Those new builds started at 289,000 and had a median price of 364000 But if you want an existing home, uh, the median price is just 289000 Okay, we're going to take a look at a couple houses that are currently for sale, and you can see what you get for your money here. Okay, I'm standing in front of 252 Creekside Circle. This is in the Clear Creek subdivision. It's uh, got several ponds that are stocked. It's also got uh, tennis courts and basketball courts and a kid's playground in the park. Okay, this home is listed by Blueprint Realty, but uh, FYI, I can help you with uh, any house that's for sale in the state of Indiana, whether I have it listed or somebody else does. This two-story sports uh, four bedrooms, two and a half baths. It's got new LVP and fresh paint. Uh, we're looking at 992 square feet and an open concept floor plan. Plus, you've got the two-car attached finished garage and a private lot that sits on this cul-de-sac. Built in 2004, the ticket on this one is just 283,900. And by the way, if you ever see a house on one of my videos and it looks to be pretty good, but just not quite right, hey, I know a guy. I've got a list of contractors that are very reliable, very good price and do good work. And uh, they can make your house the way you want it uh, before you move in. And then you can move in and you got it just the way you want it, okay? So remember, I know a guy. 
Okay, I'm standing in front of 202 Marblewood Drive. This is a DR Horton new build with four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and 2,366 square feet. Hey, it's got a beautiful kitchen with deluxe uh, new cabinetry, uh, a center island, quartz countertops, and stainless steel appliances. This home also sports um, smart home technology, and it's got a neighborhood that's got uh, walking trails, ponds, playground, and a little park. The ticket on this one is 360,000, and if you use their uh, DR Horton Mortgage Company, there'll be a $4,000 closing cost credit uh, waiting for you at the closing table. Hey, if you'd like to see this house or any other, maybe one that you saw an ad for or a sign in front of, just give me a quick call or text. Be glad to take good care of you. And hey, you make it a great day now.